Hello, my name is Dean Conatrover. This is The Current Buzz. Thank you for watching today. Today we have Sean Shanahan. He's the Building Commissioner of Chelmsford, Massachusetts, in case this goes international. I, I just want to <laughs> let you know. We're gonna, he's here to talk about permitting, uh, how do you get a permit, where do you go, town hall, and uh, you can do it online now, uh, and that's going to be corrected, and you can just download a PDF, Correct. and uh, that's coming. Uh, yeah, well, we, we're online now. Yes, I know you We have you a, a more advanced uh, system coming oh, in. Good. That it's going to be much more okay. user-friendly. Okay. What do I... Basic question. This is a permit, and I just want to show it to you. Uh, this is what you have to get uh, Correct. to do any extensions, uh, decks. Remodel alteration. Uh, remodel alteration. Remodel alteration uh, and or additions. And additions, okay. All right. I, I need a new deck, okay. right? I want to put a new deck or I don't have a deck and I want to put one in. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do? Well, first of all, we would start off with uh, coming into the building department uh, and getting you, seeing if you had a plot plan on file. Okay. Uh, we would need, need and to. Most of them do, right? Uh, quite a few. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say the, more the majority than not. Okay. Uh, the uh, plot plan would we would then be able to take a look at what your setbacks are and where that deck could be placed, uh, because we have zoning ordinances that, that will <coughs> dictate uh, where that deck could go. Right. Uh, at that time, we would need construction plans uh, as to how the deck is going to be attached, what its footings would be. Where it exactly going to be, you know, whether it's an 8 by 10 or correct. 10 by 10 or whatever. Okay, Cor got correct. It. I'm, um, I'm learning. Uh, and, and then we would decide on whether, as a homeowner, you were going to pull that permit or you were going to have a contractor do that. I, I advise all homeowners um, to have your contractor pull your permit because uh, the liability of that construction uh, falls upon them. Uh, I see. And, and allows you for access to the HIC fund, the Home Improvement Contractors Fund, uh, which will guarantee you and protect you uh, uh, oh. quality construction. And uh, they will actually obtain uh, lawyer representation to help you fight any fraudulent uh, Oh, no kidding. Activity. Okay. Correct. But check, uh, call up and make sure they pull the contract, I mean the permit. If you're having work done at your house, that yellow card should be hanging on your front This door. yellow card, uh, we have a picture of it, and uh, might want to flip that. There it is. No, it's up on. Right. It's up there. The B means building permit. Uh, can you put it? Keep it up there, please. Yes, that uh, is necessary. It's a building permit, and you put it on your door, and you come by and see that. Yeah. So, in, in the nature of a of a day, we're out commuting from from location to location. Right. And if we see a dumpster in the yard or if we see debris or, or, or construction uh, materials, um, we're, of course, going to look to the window to see if we see that. If not... Uh, Has to be in the door or the window? It needs to be in a conspicuous location. Okay. All right. It'd be the window um, or the door, yeah. So uh, my, my inspector, Marty Allen, or myself would then stop... Uh, and uh, start a line of questioning of, of, of what's going on and do we have a permit. Um, we don't have the ability to tell on the road right now whether you have a permit unless we make a phone call in. Uh, I have very limited staff, um, so to burden them with that phone call every 20 minutes would be very cumbersome. Why did you get an intern from college or something like that? We did one better. Oh, uh, so okay. we're, we're starting a new system, a new program, new permitting software uh, within the next month that uh, will allow us to perform inspections and result them on the road as well as in live time tell who has a permit. Uh, right. So we'll be able to, with our tablet on the road, be able to tell who has a permit when they got that permit, who signed for that permit, uh, and whether they received any inspections. <coughs> wow! Um, so that's I'm glad I had you on. See, I mean, yeah, that's that, that's that's pretty pretty progressive yeah. for for this area. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it'll also en enable you to do all your permitting online, and or print uh, what what you want to uh, hand in and bring it in. A okay. lot of people aren't comfortable making payments online still, uh, and right. things like that. That's we true. understand that. Yeah. Um, so we do have the staff there to do that and uh, know that that's still a need that we have. But with this new software, um, we will be able to access information on the road. 
even down to the fact that if we need to make a change to your overall plan, um, give you an example, your deck that you right. want to build, right. we're digging down and we hit, uh, hit ledge and we can no longer um, sustain a footing there. Put dynamite down uh, there. I mean, the, so, the, but what we would do, I, no, I know that, but yeah. what we would do, Dean, is we would, we would take a pin uh, and, and, and probably put some epoxy and a pin in and, and handle it in that way. But we can document that now on the road. So anything can happen for my inspector or myself coming in, and, and you know, we forget to put that pertinent information into the computer when we get back. So now everything is done, wow, be done that's on the road, right. live, in real so time. So you have a pad, and you're just going to... Yeah, just like you would see a, a, a normal uh, little tablet, and, and, and we'll be able to result that, so to speak. How many times would you come out and, and, uh, uh, to check on my deck, let's say, or an extension on my house? How many times would you come out and check that? Generally speaking, Before, three. Three times. So generally we would be there at... Um, for a deck at the excavation or the footings. Oh, okay, the footings. Uh, the footings are the concrete that you usually uh, put in and it has to set for correct. three or four days, that type correct. of thing. Correct. Right. Uh, secondly would be the rough frame. Okay. Uh, and third would be the finish. Uh, very similarly is, is an uh, uh, alteration of your home, an addition, a kitchen addition. We would be there at the rough frame. We'd be there at the installation. Uh, quote, fire blocking, right. uh, and then the finish. So generally three. When we start talking about projects uh, in the scope and size of Cushing Place or, 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 or Turnpike Road, you're talking 50, 60, 70 different inspections. So it, it depends on what that scope is. But your average um, remodel, um, new home build, is three inspections. Three inspections, okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, I remember when I had mine uh, worked on, um, there was there, we were told that you could only have so much width between each pole on the deck. Yeah. Because of young children getting their head stuck. Yep. The yeah. So you generally as big as a four and a half inch spear, four inch spear. Okay. Um, it is regulated by the code, uh, and that's specifically that. So no one's getting there. Their arms caught yeah. through, their legs caught through, or particular fall. I, I think of a deck as another room, to be honest it's with you. It's definitely an extension from yeah. your home, and we find that about 50% of them become three-season three and then four-season porches oh, after they become decks. Is, oh, is that right? That's generally the, the growing the trend? Up process oh, okay, of the that's deck. Good. Yeah. Speaking of trends, what do you see in building now? Uh, what's the trend in building? We're finding a lot, a, a, a lot, of, um, lot more prefab uh, construction coming into play, and, and I don't mean prefab as come in and place your house down on a foundation. Uh, I mean full-scale walls being put in, all prepped uh, for plumbing, electrical, um, pre-drilled. The holes are already drilled. Yeah. Right? Um, so they do it on the pad then. They do all the design on the pad. Once you get the foundation in. Yeah. Do you check the foundation too? Yes, we do. What happens yeah. if there's a crack in the foundation? What's... Uh, it, it, it would it would have to be either taken out or repaired. Uh, I don't I don't usually let a repair happen in a new foundation. No kidding. Um, I, it, we, we would require that uh, wall to be cut out and reformed, uh, pinned and reformed. Uh, cut out, not epoxied. No, uh, it, 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 it's not it's not a very good method. The epoxy lasts. Uh, but not with all that comprehensive strength on it uh, that it needs. Yeah, right. Um, so it, it uh, we would generally require it to be cut out, pinned, and epoxied. Cut out the concrete piece. Cut out the the entire braced wall. Uh, is is so if you if you had a uh, eight foot long wall by seven foot high that that was uh, faulty in an area and it would usually be down by the footing. Right. Uh, where uh, a fault on a new uh, foundation wall would occur, uh, I would require you just not to cut out that section, but cut out that wall section. Wow, and re um, and report. Report and and also pin it with with number five rebar uh, and, oh, no and epoxy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's the correct fix. All right. What happens if there's a crack in the foundation on the floor? Uh, crack, on the, crack on the floor would, would, again, would require you to dig out at least a unsupported section 
um, and um, re-support it and re report. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Generally, it doesn't happen today because because of what we use with with rebar and, and mesh grids uh, and things like that and flooring and, and stuff like that. So, uh, not like it was it's, twenty years ago. It's rebar, which is metal bars. Yep. In concrete. Mandatory and foundation? Yes. How far back does that go? Um, as far back as I remember. Oh, okay. um, it's it's just the number the number and the quantity of what we use now has changed. I see. Um, the density more or less. Correct. More rebar than correct. less rebar. And also 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 the silicas and stuff that go in the cement have also changed uh, as far as what, what we can mix cement with in, in colder temperatures and things like that. So we don't have the 20 year ago issues um, that back 20, 25 years ago, we had a lot of uh, concrete failures. Uh, I can think of seven or eight properties right in my head that w was specific to that, that not enough rebar, uh, pouring in cold temperatures, it was too much um, liquid within the cement. When are you supposed to pour? In is summer months, spring, springtime, what's, what's the... You, you can pour all year. Oh, um, you, you can. can. Pour all year as long as you treat that, there's what they call a prism test. Um, and, and that prism test needs to be performed to, to, to determine what needs to be in that cement to make it accurately cure. So to speak, the specs. Correct. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, so all the... Uh, would, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to digress here, but what does certified plot, plot pan mean? Certified plot pan plan. Why does it have to be certified and who certifies it? Because we, in order to place something permanent on your property because of zoning regulations, um, we require you to have someone who is licensed to go out there and do an accurate measurement of the property um, and then certify that measurement. Um, so that person is basically saying that when I say this is 10 feet from the property line, it's 10 feet. It's not 9.8. It's I not 8.5. Uh, and in order to do that, he needs to be licensed. Uh, and the terminology for that is certified. Um, so that would hold up in a court of law absolutely. because it was certified. Absolutely. And that's, that's why we require that. I, I see. I see. Uh, our, our goal, um, contrary to popular belief, is, is the protection of homeowners. Uh, and... We're always protecting you, trying to protect you down the line for things like that, a future lawsuit, a anything that, that could potentially happen. And if you do everything up right in the up right. front in the beginning, correct, um, we have you protected uh, in, in that manner. What is uh, homeowner's exemption? Homeowner's exemption, exactly uh, what we spoke to earlier of having a contractor perform the work or the homeowner. <laughs> Excuse me, the homeowner can file. Uh, the homeowner's exemption and do the work themselves. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the onus and, and the, the uh, overall um, job falls directly upon the homeowner. And if you're having a contractor perform that work and you're putting the, the liability on yourself, uh, to me, I tell the homeowner, that's foolish. Uh, let the guy swing in the hammer, take responsibility. Give him for the, the work. check. So he could take to you. Yeah. Even if you pay the permit fee, let him put his license on. Uh, if, if you take a look at this exact permit, I think there's a homeowner on there. Um, there was a homeowner on here and a contractor with a license name. I see. You want that license number. That license number is everything to us. That's, mm -hmm. you know, we can, we can uh, hold enforcement on that. And that if, they, if they don't have a license? <laughs> you don't want you just don't want them. Okay, you don't want them. There's a reason why they don't have a license. Yeah. Right? Do they, do they take away the licenses? Yes, so, so the enforcement of that is, is um, we can have your license suspended or revoked. In, in, and I keep it, and a lot of people think it's funny. Uh, my front office desk where, where uh, customers come in, I have the list of all suspended uh, Super construction supervisor's license and HIC. Oh contract. no! So I could come down and check. I that call out. it, and I write right on it, bad contractor list, because um, I want you to be able to I, view. Do you, did you say you have that online? I ha no, it's on my, it's on the desk. It's on the yes. desk. Right, right as you come into our office. Why can't you put it online? Is it, um, is it liable? Or is that I would have to check into with with yeah. legal about that. Yeah, um, but that's a good idea. It's, but it's, I mean, it should be known. 
Yeah, and, and that's why I do it in my office. I, I, if you have a couple minutes to sit there and wait, I want you to have some good reading and, <laughs> and uh, be able to tell who you want at your door or not. All right. On the permit, it says structure, right? Mm -hmm. It says plumbing and gas, electric. Do they sign off on this? Is so that, that would be the physical signature that you would I receive? See. All right. Um, and, 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 of course, the final inspection would, would result in a certificate of completion uh, or an occupancy, depending mm -hmm. on the nature. Okay, let's talk about fire department. Mm -hmm. um, when I uh, obtained my home, uh, all I needed was a smoke detector. Mm -hmm. Now you need a combination of both, right? Correct. Uh, smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector. Correct. And there's a, it's a combo, right? You, you can, can get a combo, up, certainly. Get, and uh, mine is wired, though. Mm -hmm. yep. What would I need to do? Would I need to come down and ask you for names of people who would replace it? So generally, any electrician or uh, any electrician... So you get pay $100 for the guy, whatever. It's it also, that's also a repair that you can do yourself. Okay. Uh, it's as easy as taking the one down that's there, making sure that the... The connection is the same as the one you're getting, right? Um, and the technology you read right on the back; it tells you the, the whether it's infrared or, or whatever technology. Um, make sure you're getting the same technology, and the combination uh, detector, combination fire and smoke. Some of them have voice. Uh, Almost all of them do now. Do, is that right? Oh. Almost, you can even go to Bluetooth. Uh, there are the technology now is 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 gone crazy, oh. um, but it's great because it's protection. How long does a fire um, a smoke detector uh, <coughs> last? Ten years. Ten years, roughly. Dates right on them. If yours is more than ten years old, you're out of compliance. Is that right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I better check uh, my date. And it's, it's well, sometimes with the with with uh, the circular, whatever it's eight inches or ten inches, mm -hmm. it doesn't fit my, my the disc, my disc or whatever. Yeah. Uh, what do I do there in that situation? Change the disc. It's one screw. Change it. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's the, it, they all come with their own disc. Change the disc. It's usually one screw in the center. Okay. Um, and go from there. Um, okay. Would they, would they have the disc in the box? Yes. Disc oh, will com always oh, comes with its mounting oh, surface. Oh, it does. Uh, and, and its own screws. All right. Um, Maybe you should have it online, how to, how to change your... It's, uh, and that's not a bad idea. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. We are looking at... Because um, it looks like I'm going to have to do it myself. <laughs> We, we are looking at uh, potentially putting together some classes for uh, some homeowners for some oh, that's different a things idea. Uh, that I will hold at town hall. Um, like plumbing classes or basic No, ba basi basically similar to this. What do you need a permit for? Um, okay, it's, the toilet. it's it's springtime, right? Yeah. Uh, wh what do we watch out for? Watch for the placement of our gas grill. We don't want the gas grill too close to our home. Swimming pools. Make sure our locks work around our swimming pools. Things like that. So when I say class, I mean informative classes that right. Interesting. would be very, very informative to new homeowners. Chelmsford, we have a lot of very new, younger homeowners. Right. Um, and, and, and to touch place with people like that and, and say, hey, you know, we realize you don't get it all yet. Let's let's see if we can help you. Yeah. And and keep maintenance on your home up. Paint it. I mean, stitch in time paint, saves nine. Yeah. Pa uh, painting is. Maintenance. Yeah. It, it's a protective of your it, home it, and the wood. Rot, um, in, yeah. insect inf infiltration. Uh, uh, that's the two biggest things you're going to find around here is rot and insects. Um, and if you're not maintaining that home, what you can do in two hours with touch-up paint can save you a month's worth of rehab. Even with decks? Absolutely. Even with thanks, because well, they rot out. I well, see for, that. first of all, a lot of people think pressure treated wood. You don't, you know, you don't want to paint. You right. don't want to do anything to um, stuff like this. You got to let it dry, right? You let it dry. You do the little test. Put some, put some water on it. Some a little bit of paint in the hidden area. And if it absorbs right away, it's not ready for paint. Uh, if it if if it, it sits there for a second and then eventually starts to dry, it's it's ready for paint. So there is some time period from a brand new. Um, deck, deck that you want to paint, but you do want to cover that with some sort of protective material. Right. Uh, any wood that you wouldn't paint, or I wouldn't paint a redwood, okay. uh, cedar. Cedar, uh, yeah. A lot of people have decks at cedar. Yeah. Is that protective? I mean, insect repellent. Uh, it's it, it's very very water resistant. Insect repellent. Uh, the insects don't like it. Um, 
Oh. It's also a, I, that's what I should have did my decade. <laughs> very expensive. Yeah, I know. I know it's expensive. expensive. But again, you, maintenance costs over uh, you know over a, a deferred time versus what you're going to pay up front. Let's talk about new roofs. I've seen them in the neighborhood. People do them like. These guys come in in the morning, and by noontime, they're gone. And some yeah, of these some of these companies are doing two roofs in a day. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. Um, roofing's pr f fairly straightforward. You require the same permits, require right. the same inspections. However, we only go there once for a roof. We go there at the end. After, okay. Um, Do you go inside? The no, no. no. It's, it's, all done from, it's all done from the road, oh, okay. generally from the, from the property. Um, are they guaranteed? The roofs or? Depending on your contract. Oh, okay. I, would not, I would not be getting my roof done if I didn't have a guarantee. No kidding, okay. Um, one, the shingle contract, the shingle manufacturer has a guarantee. Oh, okay. Uh, also, any contractor worth their weight uh, would be offering a, a, a performance type of guarantee. Would you look for a, also a license on the permit? I mean, Absolutely. would there be a license? They should be getting their own permit, and there is a license number on there. On there, okay. Yeah. So you should... Once you get a permit, you should look to see if the license number is there. Uh, and you could cross-check it online? You can cross-check it online very minimally right now. Right. Not oh. with you, but with the state. Well, with the state, absolutely. You, with the state, you can go to the, you, to, to the uh, Board of Building Regulations and Standards, BBRS. Yeah, okay. Um, and do a license lookup and check for that contractor's... Uh, even before you... Even before, yeah. Even before. Yep. You can re ask him if it is. He has to give you the, the, con the license number. Correct, correct. Right. Right. Got a license card, absolutely. Uh, what's the difference between building inspector and building commissioner? So a building commissioner is, is, uh, is, is given the, the authority through the state to uh, be the liaison for the municipality that has multiple inspectors under them. We control the gas, plumbing, electrical, uh, as well as the building inspectors. Right. Uh, some communities, the building commissioner also controls uh, the health inspectors. I see. Uh, not so much in Chelmsford, but uh, so we, we are sort of the, the, the manager of, of the inspectional services department. I see. Okay. So, um, so you handle that. Okay. Um, Water spots on the ceiling. If you see water spots, it's a roof problem usually, leaking from the roof. If you see water, water spots, spots within a foot and a half from your outside wall, I would say that is correct. If you see water spots within the interior of your home, meaning more than a foot and a half in from your outside wall, I would generally say you have a fixture problem uh, with either a plumbing fixture. I see. Um, or potentially a water, it could be a water problem that is running uh, and finding its path of least, re least resistance. But what less about light. roof runoff coming into the house? Uh, it, you would generally see that with, like I said, within a foot and a half uh, from the wall line. I see. Um, and, and very quickly. The gutters. Yep, very quickly mitigated. Um, it, 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 once you start to see that, should pay me. I would not play, I, and I've done this before, play the game of let me see how bad it gets. Um, if you see because water, because it's mold basically yeah. down the road, and, and that's what we don't think of. We think of ah, oh, it's just a little bit of water yeah. damage. Not that it's gonna create mold, and it will very quickly. Right. So get that resolved right away, especially in Bring heating in, months. In the in the warm in months. In the months that we no, in the months that we heat, because oh. we're heating up those 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 uh, those bays. I see. Um, and and you're gonna cause a very very quick mold. Issue. If oh, okay. Attack Any that. anything on your ceiling that has a circle, get it get it checked. And usually it's the piping sometimes or the chimney where it leaks in that way. Sometimes it's so it's, minor, especially with these new um, uh, Mitsubishi air conditioning systems that we have. Oh, that some inside. of those some of those plastic pipes will tend to sweat things like oh, that. Oh, no kidding. So we can we can mitigate that problem real quick when it becomes mold. It's, it's, it's a remediation issue. Even in the shower. Well, my, my problem was I, I've looked and said, let me see how bad it gets. Let me see, I want to see. Yeah, don't no. wait that, don't wait that Yeah, long. don't wait that long. Yeah, crawl in something. Because then you're pulling down a whole ceiling. Yeah, exactly, so. All right, thank you for coming on, I appreciate it.